Hiya, I'm John McGuire. It seems a bit odd saying that down a camera lens, almost as though I'm doing internet dating. Anyhow, I'm best known over here in Ireland as a TV presenter. Before that, I'd built up a few successful companies, like a mortgage company and a property speculation business. Sort of as a result of that, I was asked to do a property show on RTE. When I say property show, it was as much about having a crack as it was about spotting property. So it was called I'm an adult, get me out of here, and here are a few clips. Nadia Kavna never really had a grand plan for growing up, but she did fancy herself as a little bit of a princess. And so she waited for her knight in shining armor. And she waited, and she waited, and she waited. In the meantime, she lived a life worthy of a princess. She bought a lot of fancy clothes, went to a lot of fancy parties, and bought herself a real fancy carriage. But spending moolah as though it's going out of fashion won't get you anywhere off the property ladder. So here she is, stuck in her mammy's house, crying, I'm an adult, get me out of here. Here and Roisin Whelan are in for a shock. They want to buy in Dorky or Dunleary. But the Dublin property market the way it is, the reality is they need to be looking at newer areas, like here in Kiltipper. Sometimes on the show, people have unrealistic expectations. John, they say, I want a four bed in Kalini. John, I'd like a little cottage on the seafront in Kalini. Oh, I'm easy, John, I'll take anywhere in Kalini. Well, it looks like I'm onto a winner here. With this guy, all I have to do is get him a place with electricity. If it's got a roof, it's a bonus. If you woke up on a Saturday morning to find your clothes washed, ironed and neatly folded at the end of your bed. You probably think Santa Claus has got his dates mixed up. But if you're Rachel Kylie, it's all part of the service. Do you like it? Yeah. Well, Do you know what? I like it here. Do you know what else? No. What? You can't afford here. No. <laughs> you bad. <laughs> That's mean! <laughs> we know what you can afford for definite today. Okay. And we've got a few areas lined up for you to have a quick look at. So what I've actually done is I've put together a sort of loan application to show your good pay record, etc., and a little summary of what, um, what you're looking for. The main sticking point is Ian's reluctance to move outside the five-mile radius of Bray. It's a nice place, in fairness, considering it's named after the noise a donkey makes. Anyhow, it's time for me to do some donkey work, try and find a property they both might agree on. We want to do something to get you in, because otherwise you'd all three be collecting your pensions at the <laughs> post office together, so... <laughs> we better hurry up. As I said, I do like having a laugh, so here are a couple of clips when I just couldn't keep my mouth shut. There's a railway track behind there. There is indeed, yeah, but they're very silent trains. Very silent trains. Yeah. They work on cold fusion, do they? Well, I don't have to work on something, but... So this is my home. Your home? Well, my mum's home. <laughs> no, it's where I live. You just so. caught a glimpse of the wedding wall there. The famous wedding wall, yes, mm. that I'm not on. No. And won't be. Any <laughs> pressure there? Um, they joke a lot about it. I see there is a blank wall there, though. Apparently This is your wall, me. is it? Yes, apparently. Quite big. I don't know what they're expecting, but anyway. This would be nice with one of those island units. You, you could, uh, exactly. <laughs> 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 you were about to say, yeah, you could. <laughs> Do you colour coordinate your outfits? That's me. Oh, <laughs> That's my fault. I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is where the magic happens. And this is where it all. This is where it all happens. <laughs> What happened to your hair? Do you polish We get out of here? Yeah, I'll right. give you a lift down up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the show I'm best known for doing here in Ireland. I've done a few other programmes, including a travel show. So here are a few clips from those. So this is the little brother Mike, and this is Rob here. I've just taken them off the baby slopes. So this is their first go on the big one. Are you ready, lads? Not really, but let's give it a go. It didn't go exactly according to plan. This might be a little bit more time consuming than I'd hoped. <laughs> this place is amazing. There's so much to do here. Imagine this when you were 10 years of age. I would have absolutely loved it. <laughs> Porsche 997 has a top speed of close to 200 miles an hour, which is bad, I suppose. Airspeed is alive. Coming through 100 miles an hour. And here we go. 
Please welcome John McGuire. What, what are the kind of people you're dealing with, John, on the programme? Um, well, it's you? kids living at home. Well, not adults living at home, actually. You know, it's like it's a relatively new social phenomenon. People living in their 20s and 30s at home. So it's, it's, it's those, basically. Clopsies or kippers, they're called. Oh, what's a kipper? Kipper kids eating in parents' pockets or in retirement savings, you know, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you it's know. not as bad as they call them in Asia, which is parasite kids, which is like... <laughs> so. You've been yeah. nominated in the TV Now Awards as uh, sexiest presenter. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now, so that answers my next question, is what do you think? But you've answered that well. <laughs> I, how do you feel about that? So that's a tough I like, I mean, you know, it's not something that you're on to tell the lads about or anything. And oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the first thing you're to tell the lads about. <laughs> well, soccer on Monday night now, I'm going to be getting a bit of stick. TV presenter John McGuire is head chef in the restaurant tonight. He hopes his simple menu will impress critics Tom Dooley and Paolo Tullio. Some of my dishes they won't be too overly impressed with. I can't imagine they'll be singing my praises for putting uh, spicy chicken wings on the menu. What does table three think? The wings are exceptional. Are they good? We need a finger bone, maybe. Yeah. All going well. So that's me, John McGuire. And here's my number. Call me. You know you want to. <laughs> Come on, no, seriously, come on. 